Hi everybody, it's Trisha the Knitting Lady. And I'm sorry I didn't come to you yesterday, but I'm going to make two videos today. One is about conversation, trivia, etc. And the second one will be on cotton yarn. Somehow, though, looking at my cotton yarn, I don't know if I've shown it before. But I will do that the second video. So today's the 19th of March. And I went over to help my friend who's moving to Florida. She had an estate sale. for. She's having it three days. I helped her today. I'm not going to help her tomorrow or Sunday. Well, today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. She's having it as well. The lady is helping her with the estate sale. Apparently does this for a side job. And I'll be honest with you, she just drove me crazy. I think if she would have just let me alone. I was in the house. Um, my girlfriend was in her garage. There's stuff all over the place. I really don't know why my friend waited till the last minute because she's going to move next week. But it's her business. It's not my problem. I'm not going to have that issue. Number one, I have an apartment. My lease is up June 15th. So I have, was it April, May? Yeah, more than two months. And believe me, I won't leave everything to last minute. And also, I know what I'm getting rid of, really. Um... And what I'm going to take with me, I had to have decided to put things in storage for a while and then take my time finding another place to live instead of rushing it. So let me talk about other things. But it's cold today in Wilmington. It was really windy and going in and out of the house, you had to put a coat on. Um, my girlfriend at one point came in the house. She had, did she have a sweatshirt on? She just had a small jacket on and she went in to put a sweatshirt in on. I hope she doesn't get sick because she's got COPD. So the house is in turmoil, but it's not my issue. You know, it's her problem. I can't leave things to last minute. I just can't, you know? And then I'd be cleaning up as I go along as well. I do that in my apartment. If I'm moving things, I'm cleaning. I am, I'm allergic to dust. Well, a lot of people are allergic to dust, so that's no big thing. But I try to keep myself from, from sneezing all the time. So what can we say about today? Yesterday, March 18th, was the birthday of Adam Levine. He was born in 1979. Queen Latifah was born in 1970. And Grover Cleveland, the former president, was born in 1837, died 1908. And, you know, they, they try to find trivia in the oddest states. So March 18th, 1933, the Studebaker declared bankruptcy. Now, this is about cars that are no longer in existence, car brands. So the Studebaker declared bankruptcy, but rebounded and shut down for good in 1966. Then they talked about the DeLorean. Remember the DeLorean from the movie Back to the Future? It turns out that... John DeLorean only produced 9,000 of those cars. The uh, model of the car was the DC, DMC-12. And um, it was the only car built by DeLorean. They went under in 1982. Now, Hummers. Hummers always remind me of tanks. And 
General Motors bought the brand 1988 and produced the H1, H2, and H3 models. Um, the Great Recession of 2008 put an end to them. Plus, it was a gas guzzler. Now, Checker Cabs. I remember che Checker Cabs because I really grew up New York City in the vicinity. So, the cabs are all Checker Cabs. They were well known in the 60s and 70s. Um, I don't know if you remember that movie, Roger Rabbit. What was the name of that movie? And, and there was a cab in it. And I had a little stuffed cab. And I don't know what happened to it. It was known in New York and Chicago, but the cab was produced in Kalamazoo, Michigan, by a Russian immigrant who founded the company. And what else can I tell you? Um, company went defunct 13 years after founder Morris... Morkin died due, and it declined due to fuel demand again. It was a gas guzzler. Now, Pontiacs. Now, I was, um, not, I didn't go live with Froggy Gone and Knitting, but um, I just chimed in when she was live this morning, and one of her um, friends who come on. He was working on a Pontiac, and I said, well, watch my channel later. I'm going to talk about Pontiacs. So there are no more Pontiacs around. They um, gave us the Trans Am, the GTO, and Grand Prix. Uh, it was created in 19, the brand was created in 1926 by General Motors, General Motors again, and financial problems led to completely shut down the company in 2010. Now, what company made the Cougar? I had a Cougar for a while. That was a good car. And Saturns, my girlfriend had a Saturn. I always liked those cars. They That was established by General Motors too. And it, a shaky business model killed the Saturn. It's a shame. My girlfriend had um, Saturn, it was almost like a station wagon. Really good car. I always had General Motors cars until um, I got a better deal with Toyota and I've had Toyota since. I have a Toyota Corolla. It's my third, fourth one, I'm trying to remember. So today is March 19th. It's the birthday of Bruce Willis. He was born in 1955, and Glenn Close was born in 1947. And let me go to the positive quotations. <laughs> and then I'll go back to trivia. So today, the theme is making decisions. And this quote is by Robert H. Schuller. Never cut a tree down in the wintertime. Never make a negative decision in the low time. Never make your most important decisions when you are in your worst moods. Wait, be patient, the storm will pass, the spring will come. When things are going wrong, we wanna change them right away. Isn't that true? So we buy something that we don't really need, or we throw away something that we do really need, or we decline an opportunity because we're afraid that something else might go wrong. Or we make the same mistake again, thinking we'll do better this time. If I'm in a bad mood, I will put off making important decisions until my outlook and judgment improve. That's good to remember. I never thought of that. You know. So, for tomorrow the 20th, I always remember March 20th because it's the birthday of an old boyfriend. <laughs> I know he's married now, but I haven't seen him in, geez, over 30 years. I wish him, I know we would never wound up happy together. So I wish him happiness. I'm glad he's, I hope he's happy. You know, I don't know. I know he got married, but that's all I know about him. So trying to be happy is the theme for tomorrow. 
If only we'd stop trying to be happy, we'd have a pretty good time. And that's by the writer, Edith Wharton. We can spend a lot of time, money, and energy trying to make ourselves happy. Eating fancy meals, going on expensive vacations, throwing big parties, buying nice clothes. We think these things will bring us happiness, but often our happiness is short-lived, lasting about as long as it takes to get heartburn from eating too much, return to work from vacation, clean up after the party, or realize that we don't look as nice in our clothes as we'd hope we would. If we could learn to find happiness from moment to moment in the small things of life, we'd always have a pretty good time. It's true. I don't need something outside of myself to make me happy. Happiness is a choice I can make under almost any circumstances. Yep, I think you. I think a lot of people know what will make them happy. Me, it's traveling. I just love to travel and discover new things. So, um, okay, on this date in 1953, March 19th, the Academy Awards ceremony was televised for the first time. I used to watch it every year. I haven't watched it in years. And did you know a group of pandas is known as an embarrassment? <laughs> pandas are so cute. So, on, like I said, they go searching for trivia. On this day, March 19th in 1957, Elvis Presley put a down payment on Graceland. Now, that is located on the outskirts of Memphis, Tennessee. I don't know if it's on the outskirts of Memphis. I've been there. To me, it was still pretty much in the city. But maybe at the time, it was on the outskirts. I'm sure the city grew since then. So the name Grace, Graceland came from the family who originally owned the property. property. The more... The name of the people who owned the property were the Moors. And Mrs. Ruth Moore named the property after her aunt, Grace. So that's how Graceland came to be. Elvis Presley bought the property when he was 22 for $102,000. So it was named a National Historic Landmark in 2006. Second most visiting home in the United States with over 700,000 visitors. Only the White House has more visitors. Like I said, I've been there. I really liked it. Um, tourists can see the upstairs. I remember that when we went on a tour. The mansion encompasses 17,552 square feet. It was open to the public on June 7th, 1982. Only people upstairs are Priscilla, his former wife, his daughter, Lisa Marie, and the property's curator. Presley, Presley died in a bathroom on the second floor. He died August 16, 1977. Now, there is a room there called the Jungle Room. And, of course, at the time, I guess it was decorative. Now it just looks old, you know. It's got a green shag carpet. Um, plastic. Um, I, didn't, you know, I can't even write. I can't even read what I wrote, but um, it has wood paneling, um, green shag carpet. Remember shag carpet? I used to have a shag carpet. Wood paneling and um, tiki inspired decor, the jungle room. RCA turned the room into a makeshift recording studio and Presley recorded his final song there entitled, She Thinks I Don't Care. 
I don't think I ever heard that song, but. So that's the trivia for today. I don't have anything else going on. Like I said, it was a busy day for me. I came home and took a nap. <laughs> My girlfriend's going to, she was exhausted before, you know, before I even got there because uh, the lady she's working with, well, like I said, she would drive me nuts. I, I couldn't, I could only take like three hours of her and I was like, okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> so uh, I know that's a big business if you know what you're doing with antiques and all of that. My girlfriend really doesn't have antiques. She has a couple pieces, but that's about it. I know I don't. And I don't even know much about antiques. I used to do taxes for an antiques dealer. And some of the stuff he told me were, you know, some of the things he told me were valuable. I was, I remember sitting there one time going, really? <laughs> and tax time, I can't wait till it's over. Especially now that things have changed and people are calling about their stimulus and it's just crazy. So I'll be glad. And then they extended the uh, filing deadline. Well, I'm not staying. Um, they already told us that if your contract is up in April, which mine is, you may be asked to stay. But I already told them I'm not staying. So I already made the decision. I'm not going to go back to it next year. But I'm not telling them that because I sat there and figured out how much it costs me to keep my certification because I have to have continuing ed hours. I have to have at least 20 hours of continuing ed. No more than that, 25. And um, you can get some of it for free, but a lot of this, a lot of continuing ed you have to pay for. Plus you have to pay for your certification and other things. So it's, in the long run, it's really not worth the money unless I really enjoy it, which I don't anymore. So once I stop that, I'm gonna concentrate more on my channel and hopefully I can make more of a go of it. So, okay, on to the next video and I'm not gonna do it right away. So I might have something else draped around my neck to show a change in decor. Okay, bye now.